And it is bright and early here at the donut garage because we have to take a little trip to Corona. In that bad boy. We're heading out to see our buddy Casey Curry. Off-road racer. Pretty sure he slings it in a trophy truck here and there, or his trophy Jeep. The dude's won Baja 1000. He's the first American to win the Dakar Rally in a UTV. An overall rad dude, but Casey is the owner of a company called Curry Enterprises. When it comes to drivetrain stuff, these dudes make the most hardcore stuff. We're gonna head there, they're gonna do some gears and carriers and bearings and basically just refresh everything under this truck. Uh, yeah man, they're gonna get us singing because right now we got 307s in it and an open diff. That ain't gonna cut it. Let's get out there. Those Dakota digital gauges. Oh yeah. Money. Two hours later. Just got to Casey's uh, shop. This is the race side of things. Is this, is this how you live daily life? I see, I see. You know what, I was rocking the GMC. You wanted to just, That's okay. Exactly Respect. 317,000 miles, runs like a champ. Nice. Second owner. Dude, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, taking in my jalopy here for a sec. Oh, dude, it's like the same thing as everything else in here. No, it's all good, dude. It's lifted on big tires. Tell you. Well, it's not really lifted yet. But, oh, it looks lifted. You know, it'll, <laughs> it'll get there. Dude, did you polish the sides? Why does it, this look so different? Oh, yeah, actually, you know, it's, it's, it I mean, it's good really paint. There's good. actually only 43,000 miles on this chassis. No way. Yeah. That thing is. Yeah, it's cherry. I like it. Dude. So uh, I guess we're gonna do some gears, carriers, bearings. So we're gonna rebuild the basically what you got. We're gonna take it apart, clean it up. New new gears. You want a, a Detroit in the back or True Track? Yeah, we're gonna do a True Track in the back. Okay. Detroit's gonna have a, that ratcheting on the freeway. We'll get old. All right, we'll get you dialed in. Hell yeah. So what? Four fifty six gears. Yes, sir. We'll bring you live. Hell yeah. Gear looks pretty old. It was time for an upgrade, definitely. The bolt, the bolt just broke. No, uh huh. So you got stuck right here in the pin. So now we need to punch it out, break the bolt, so we can take the axles out. Being so old, it's spreading. Yeah, it Look is. at that. Look at how rusty this is. It is it. beautiful morning here in Park City, Utah. So just got the K5 back from the boys over at Curry and I have to say it feels amazing to be turning both rear tires 
at the same time as every American truck should, or pretty much any vehicle in general should. But for now, let's go in, let's take a look at what the boys over at Curry have done, and uh, do a little overview on that. But, I guess before we do, there's one very important thing that we have to take care of. Something that's never actually been done with this truck. To be fair, I don't think I want to put the top back on it ever again. This looks way better. But anyway, let's get to the important stuff here. The axles, bam, bam. Now, we're gonna start at the front. First and foremost, this, locking hubs. The reason you want locking hubs on a solid front axle vehicle, right, is you can unlock this tire so it can spin freely without having to turn the carrier, the axles, and everything in the front assembly there. Thus creating a little bit less drag and, you know, adding some gas mileage to the already shitty single digit gas mileage that you're getting. Up front here, kept the Dana 44 just for the time being, but we got a Detroit True Track differential, got 456 gears, uh, all new bearings, um, basically just a nice freshened up rebuild, you know, making sure that everything's gonna stay together. I'm sure it'll handle some very light off-roading, you know, some four x four stuff. I'm not gonna do like rock crawling with this thing, but as soon as I get the new engine, we'll see how long it lasts. I'm pretty sure that those like stock axles will probably get pretty warped from the first four wheel drive burnout I try to do, but you know, we'll, we'll see when we get to that. Found out some very interesting stuff about the rear when they opened it up. Actually, uh, here's a clip of Casey Curry explaining to me exactly what they found. The bolt that holds the uh, pin inside the carrier was sheared off. And basically all it needed was a little bit of a pin to fall out. And then the actual pin would have fell out. Then the axles would have been floating. Clips would have fell out. Tires and axles, gone. <laughs> Close. See, Casey Curry, lifesaver here. <laughs> lifesaver. Kept the stock 12 bolt in the back as well. Again, we're gonna be changing all this stuff out, but for the time being, got a Detroit True Track in the rear, 456 gears, all new bearings, you know. Cleaned it up, new fluids, new seals, all that stuff. I know it'll take some abuse. We'll see just how much abuse it will take as soon as we get that brand new 572 cubic inch big block in here. And you know what? If it breaks, oh well, it's going to be replaced anyway. We got to do a lot of chassis work to this, got to do a lot of suspension work, and we definitely have to do front and rear axle assembly. So, whatever. I guess there's only one thing left to do. We need some sort of proof that it actually does turn both rear wheels that, that it works, right? All right, there you have it. Success. Both rear tires spin. So stay tuned. Got a lot more fun stuff ready for this, coming for this, mm. So stay tuned. Got a whole lot of fun stuff coming for this thing. 500, namely, a 572 cubic inch big block by Smetting Performance. How's it around?